Tonight, we take you on an exotic culinary journey from South to North America, all the way to India. We discover the diverse and multicultural cuisine of Peru. We reconnect with the master chef of fried chicken, Ed Bugia, and we take you on a food tour of incredible India. Sounds good? I know, right? Let's see. Cucina Peruvia is the very first Peruvian restaurant in the Philippines. It first opened its doors in 2015 with a menu from a chef known for his fearless, trailblazing dishes, Kim Uy de Baron. I've always been interested about the food that you've served okay, ever since you started, but we'll get back to that later. But tell me first about Peruvian cuisine. It's a bit ex exotic because it's Latin, but at the same time, it's familiar because of all the Asian influences that uh, they have. Yeah. And when I eat Peruvian food, yeah. and I've been doing so for three years, thanks to you, yeah. at Casina Peruvia, I always find that there's a certain specific flavor profile yeah. that I'm getting. Yeah. It's not necessarily hot on the tongue, yeah. but it definitely leaves a mark. It's, it's, yeah. it's pretty memorable, and that's the ahi amarillo. Yes. Actually, their, their uh, cuisine is is really based around all these uh, chilies that they have. Mm -hmm. It will not hurt you. Yes, but the good thing with ahi amarillo, it has a nice sweetness to it, like a yellow pepper. You get the sting of the of the spice, mm. but it rounds it up because it's nice and sweet, like a yellow That's pepper. That's true. This soup is the South American counterpart of the North American clam chowder. It's hearty, warming, soothing, and satisfying truly filling meal in itself. It's quite addicting. This is it the is. kind of soup that you take one sip, yeah. then you try to understand everything that's going on, yeah. and there's a lot going on, yeah. and then you just want to take another sip, yeah. because you, then you get another hit. Yeah. You get the smokiness, you get the creaminess, you yeah. get the cheese, yeah. you get the freshness of the fish, yeah. and I can understand why, why you love this. Yeah. Okay, Very comforting. My favorite order in Cocina Peruvia, a delicacy, barbecued beef hearts. Yes, you heard that right, hearts of beef, anticuchos de corazón, grilled and infused with the smoky, unique flavors of the ahi and the amarillo. I think one of the things Peruvia, obviously, it, it reminds me so much about our local street food. Yes. And this would this be the street food of uh, Peru? Yes, beef hearts, yes. Okay. Um, which is also one of my favorites. Um, it's a very lean cut of meat. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. It's not very gamey or awfulish, mm. but it's it's nice. Middle. It's uh, muscular. Yes. Right. That's, That's what I'm getting. Huh? Yeah. Literally, because it is a muscle. Yeah. Oh. And it's a bit um, smoky because of the ahi panka. Mm -hmm. It's made even better with the sauce. So I dip it. Yes. And the other one is our chimichurri, which I am very proud of. The chimichurri is is is, is very um, authentic. Uh, it's got the right level of spice mm -hmm. and the right level of acidity. So it kind of balances everything. So you'll see it in different plates. This is familiar to Filipinos as kinilaw. But instead of vinegar and calamansi, this uses lime. It's juice freshly squeezed for a bright, refreshing kick. It's a beautiful ceviche. Yes. So what, what are the components here? There's so many this one, I see shrimp. Yeah, this one that you have is called the mixto. Mm. We have squid, we have uh, the mussels, we have shrimp, and then it's with uh, sweet potato, camote, mm. uh, some mm. red or Spanish uh, onions, and this is spiced a bit by rocoto. I was about to ask yes. you, there is something here 
that I'm getting. I love the acidity, yeah. by the way. But there's something dynamic teasing me. Yes. What, what is, is that? The ricotta? That's uh, ahi ricotta. Wow. So, again, we, we have the ahi amarillo, ahi panka, which is, you know, and then the ahi ricotta, which is spicier, which is a bit sharper than the other uh, chilies. The spices, the peppers, and most especially, the pisco. Peru's national liquor used in the country's signature cocktail, the pisco sour. Everything is flown in from South America. Cocina Peruvia truly is the real deal. Why one of the reasons why I took up this, this uh, project was the commitment to stay through to the, to the cuisine. Yeah. And one of the ways to do that is to get the proper ingredients for it. And so there was a commitment to get the chili. So it, it's so along. good now. Yeah. It's, uh, it's so distinct. Yeah. It, it's something so, so different from what I would normally expect. Like, you tell me I have a ceviche. In half, at the back of my mind, I'm thinking Kira Yes. But this tastes completely different yes. because the lime gives you a, a different kick. Yes, than the vinegar. Just, yeah, it just goes to. I think part of it is. It's also very bright. Question: This is called an adobo. Yes. Okay, but if what are the? It's not an adobo in, in ours. No, because this does, this does not have uh, vinegar. Okay, so what does this have? Like, but it's braised, okay. um, and it's com it comes with a cream sauce. I love the cream sauce. Yeah, what yeah, are you, what's in the cream sauce? It's kind of sweet. It, uh, part of it is from the the, the cooking uh, liquid of the pork, mm -hmm. and this is where the Chinese uh, influence came. Also, along with the Portuguese, is that um, there there's there's soy sauce in the. Are you there's some pagka asado? Yes. I sense Sugar that. Sugar and soy sauce. That's the Chinese influence. And then the cream is brought to you by the, the Western, the, the Spanish, Portuguese part. And then they put this thing, uh, the, the salsa creole. So there's which, a lot of balance. Yes. And it, because it's pork also. It's yeah. very rich. Yes. What brings next for, for Chef Yim? I don't know, you know. I, yeah. I, are you going to do an Icelandic cuisine? Are we going to have <laughs> raw shark? What? Well, I, I think, you know, uh, the chef in me wants to do something very creative. But mm. the thing is, through the years, I've, I've learned to embrace the business side of the, okay. the restaurant, the practical side of the restaurant as well. So I'm, I'm trying to learn that balance mm -hmm. where you are, there's a familiarity to your cuisine, but it also stands out. And you think about the longevity as well. Is this just a craze for now or is it something that you can build five, ten years from now? I guess there's one, thing, one more thing left to say. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Thank All right, you. thanks for inviting me. Thank you. Latin American cuisine could be the next big thing. It's surely trending in Metro Manila in 2018, and for good reason. These are all about fresh flavors. These dishes are colorful, creative, spry, and sexy. A true culinary carnival, a feast for all the senses.